Hello everyone, Wyland here, and welcome to another episode of Wyland's World. Today we're going to do a shield combat video. We're going to take on as many dinos as we can with only, with only a shield and a sword. Uh, we'll see how this uh, shield fares and see what, what all we can take down and what is still considered a danger even if you have a shield. So let's do it now. Alright, so I pulled up my boat to this little island right here on the on the center map. So I saw a bunch of dinos down that way. So we're gonna work our way around to see what all we can find to um, attack. I'm gonna go ahead and move my boat closer so I don't have to worry about swimming. And if you haven't seen the um, the new season video of what, what we're doing on this map. Uh, basically, the idea is to play this entire map with the use of no dinosaurs at all. We're going to just rely on uh, the items that we have on this boat. And I got all these items from a combination of my primitive and normal character. I combined all the items, all the experience, and put it all on paper to create this one person and put all the stuff in this one boat. So, we're going to see how well we can do with just the gear we can make from blueprints, uh, gear we can make uh, ourselves, ammo we can make ourselves, and see if we can survive without any help from dinosaurs at all. So let's go ahead and get started with the shield combat. I'll show you what shield I'm using in just a second after I take on this scorpion real quick. On the shield, this is not a very high level scorpion. Alright, so he whoops. Alright, so you got me with one hit, but with the um, gear I'm wearing, it's not going to be a big deal. Alright, so let's take a look at the shield. Alright, the shield I'm using is Journeyman, Riot Shield, and the um, sword I'm using is a Prince's Sword. These are two items that I found in the underwater drops on the normal server that I was playing on. Uh, you probably may have seen them in one of my videos that I did showing uh, the type of drops that I got and where the drops are located. Uh, so these are two items that uh, I did have on the other server. So here we got some Rexes, uh, Argents, and looks like a whole bunch of little guys down there. So we're going to see what we can do here. Hopefully we can live through all this. Now the Rex will take a Oh, we got some Carnos, too. This is a big cluster of deadly dinos. Um, we're going to take on all these guys with this shield. There's a Quetzal up there. Uh, you know, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we'll see how well the shield does in this type of environment. I'm not going to wait for all these guys to stop attacking stuff and come after me, because then it's going to be way too many things. Try to get the, um, the Carno and Raptor over here first. We got my cats. That doesn't do too bad. these guys now I'm not carrying around with me a pickaxe or an, an axe uh, I can skin with a sword just just as I mean you know not not as good but good enough with the three times a gathering rate uh, so we didn't take really any damage from that and our shield is still good on durability so we're gonna go after these these two wrecks and see what happens with them now this might be a little bit harder depending on how they knock us back. The knockback is what is causing the biggest issue. Is trying to um, hit it after the knockback. So let's see how this, this goes. You can't get one Rex's attention without getting the others. Alright, so I think we got this Rex's attention now. He's coming for us. I'm going to put my shield up a little bit. Right, so 
that wasn't a very high level one. And just so you can see my stats, this is, I'm level 98, which is not impossible to get in game. This is a com combination of all the experience I've got from my level ni 90 on um, normal server and my level 80, 88 or 89 on a primitive server. Um, my melee damage is only 240%, so it's not like I have a ton of melee damage. Now the sword damage is at 191, which that's a pretty pretty good sword. But I've found so many of these swords at, at this around this weapon damage range, so it's not impossible to find. If you do the underwater drops, you can find tons of them actually, even blueprints for them. Go ahead and get this next Rex. And the, you know the issue you'll come across with the shield like this is yeah, if you find one already made. You know, you can use it, no problem. Uh, the repair cost on it will be pretty, pretty decent amount of polymer. Um, but it should last you a while before you need to find another one underwater. Which I seem to find a, quite a few of these underwater as well, doing the drops. Got a raptor, a rex. And once we kill something, the argument will come. Rex actually hit that raptor. I'm going level two. All right. None of the Argons came uh, to that. I guess they were too far off. But let's keep heading this way and see what we can find. And my goal is to actually find a Giga. Now I know I'm probably going to die from a Giga with the shield. Uh, but I want to see, you know, how many hits we can take before that happens. I'm going to go ahead and take on uh, this group of guys right here that we see. Uh, I'd like to fight an Argent with the shield just because it kind of introduces a new aspect to it with the flight. We can do here. And there's the Argent. He's coming after us now. He's level 77. Yeah. So this is kind of different. We're hitting him, so that's good. I'm not going to skin. I got plenty of meat that I can cook later on. I'm not going to skin that guy. I'm going to eat right now. Get some feeling going. Well, I guess I will have him once. I will. We got two Carnos now. They're coming to charge us now. It's not a very high level, but they are mate boosted. Kind of both the same time. I want to get overweight, so I'm, I gotta quit doing that. It's just habit, dude. And then, let's see what our shield's doing. Shield. I mean, we're, we're taking some damage with it, but we should be good for a while. Got a cat coming. These guys have some good knockback. Alright, so we got the cat. Oh, and with the shield, I would say that, you know, being able to fight stuff that doesn't have a fast attack speed is the best, because you can get that extra, you can get that hit in with the sword um, after it attacks. Alright, so we got three Argents over here. A Carno over this way. Well, light's going. Oh, got a Scorpion behind us. Only level four, though.
That's not gonna knock us out. There's the Argents. We're probably gonna have to take on these Argents now. There's a Karna there too. With the absence of light, I'm going to shoot a... Oh, no I'm not. I'll kill the scorpion first, then I'll shoot a flare up so I can see a little better. You might be able to see this video a little better because I might have uh, turned the my browser editing, added more light to it. Uh, but right now it's just kind of hard to see what I'm doing. to run away. I don't make much sense, but he's coming back. With these other two, while we still got a little bit of light, actually three will probably come. One of them's running away. I guess I'm scaring them, scaring these guys for some reason. Oh, here they go. They're coming back. Two. So those two went down pretty quick. And you remember, I don't really have that high of melee, so, you know, the sword does an amazing job at killing stuff. Comes that cat again. can all right so so far so good we are killing everything that's coming in contact with you know whenever you're doing the shield combat since they're coming at you head on I mean you're pretty much getting headshots every time whenever you're hitting them back at them you're doing a lot of extra damage too, just by hitting him in the head. And it's really hard not to get stung by these scorpions. Um, you know, they just attack so fast. And you know, I see a volcano in the distance. You know, I don't, I'm not very familiar with how volcanoes work in, you know, Ark, because the island map never had volcanoes, so I don't even know what, there it is right there, so I don't even know what I should do, like, I'm going to, I'm going to head over there sometime in another video and go inside and see if I can get inside, but, yeah, I don't know anything about, you know, I don't know if they're going to erupt or anything like that, so I guess we'll have to figure that out when we get there. The stuff here is spawning like crazy fast. I don't. I mean, there's a Rex right there. We're gonna, t we're gonna take him out. Might as well. Gotta come after us anyway. Whenever they come in, we're going to go ahead and hit them. I'm not using my shield right now. I'm just trying to hit them as much as I possibly can. Whenever I have a chance to. Those weren't very high level, so we're good for taking on those. Eventually, we'll get back to my boat. Let me see what kind of damage. Yeah, our shield's pretty. 
pretty damaged. We're at half halfway on the durability. But yeah, this um, shield's really taking a beating. Pretty much the way shields work is there's a, a max durability on it. And you can block incoming hits until you get to that max durability and your shield breaks. So if you use a wooden shield, for example, just one that you just make because you're just starting out, you're probably not going to be able to take a few hits before your shield breaks. That's because the durability is, I think it's around 200 and something. Uh, with this, it was like 8,000 and something. So we got quite a bit of damage we can take before it breaks. So we're back at our boat. I am going to go ahead and take these guys out with the shotgun and then head off and find a Giga somewhere. Alright, so we're back at our boat. Let's go ahead and take a. Well, I've got a scorpion here. I'm going to kill the scorpion. Okay. I'm actually, reload my shotgun real quick. Alright. So let's go ahead and take a look at our our damage report. So our gear has got some damage to it. Uh, armor's got damage to it. Shields pretty pretty badly damaged. Let me put it over here so you can see the um, repair costs we got to come up with. 267 polymer. Crystal is really not that big of a deal. The pearls are not that big of a deal. Metal is not that big of a deal. The polymer is going to be the big deal on this. Uh, you could use organic polymer if you want to. I might do that. I don't know. I have to look at my polymer uh, stockpile to see what I got. While we're talking, I'm going to kill these. Um, because I, I don't really want to go up against a Giga with, you know, a half broken shield. Even though it's probably going to end up killing me anyway. I actually want to get something off these. Oh, there's another scorpion. Um, yeah, I'm not doing the shield stuff right now. I'm just getting some resources. I don't, I don't want to drag that. I'm going to get the, um... Stuff off these guys. Shitting. That for some paste, unless I find some beaver dams anytime soon. I need some paste. Okay, so the plan is now, is I'm going to go and uh, farm some organic polymer. I see an ice mountain over there, so I may head over there to farm the organic polymer. And then I'm going to um, prepare as much as I can, my shield first and then my gear. And um, hopefully the spawn rate over there is going to be the same as this island where these things were just spawning like crazy so I can get stuff you know, done really quick, repaired really quick. And then after that I'll start searching for a gig. Okay, so on my way to um, this drop, I saw that there's a yellow drop down underneath here. Um, what I'm going to do is, let's see if this works. I'm going to use a grappling hook. I'm going to shoot my boat with it. Get myself some line. And I'm going to jump down there and then hopefully be able to pull myself back up so I don't have to deal with any sharks or anything like that. But I have my spear that I'm going to use just in case I do have sharks. Oh, 
Okay. Oh. No sharks or anything crazy around. That's a good thing. Let's see if this works. There we go. Now we're back up. So I traveled uh, all the way uh, as far as I could toward where I saw the snow at, and it looks like I come to a dead end. Uh, but it's, it's really foggy up there, so I can't really tell if I'm at the snow area right now. And I don't really know this map, so I'm probably going to have to go on foot to see if I can find uh, where the snow area is. It's like about the penguins and uh, farms of polymer. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to end this video here since, um, you know, I have another task involved of um, trying to get to the snow area. Um, I guess I could sail around, but with the way the sky looks right now, I can't even tell where the snow area is at. Let's see where we're at on our map. We're at 41.8, 33.2. So... Okay, I see you now. Um, yeah, there's really no easy way to get to that snow area from boat. So, we are going to definitely have to go on foot. Um, we're going to have to pack and flies ready to go on foot. That's going to be kind of a rough, rough trip considering we're going to have to carry a, um, a snowsuit with us. So that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them below. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. In the next video, I'm going to make my attempt to uh, get to the snow biome. And I'm about to travel through this, this area right here to get... Now I can actually see the snow biome. Uh, to get to the snow biome, which is up there. So that'll be our next video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.